In this video, we will show you how to make a style of arrow that was used by the Inuit people in northern Canada. This arrow features a two-feather fletching style and had a removable antler foreshaft that was tipped with a copper point. For the main shaft, I used pine wood. The museum examples I studied had a total length of over 34 inches, but you can adjust this measurement to fit your individual draw length. Begin by cutting a shallow rounded groove into the base of your arrow to form the knot. Then trim two matching feathers to form your fletchings. These fletchings will be secured with wet sinew. As the wet sinew dries it shrinks forming a secure wrapping on the feather fletchings. No glue was used to hold the feathers to the arrow shaft. However, I like to protect the sinew wrapping by covering it with a thin layer of hide glue. The front of the main arrow shaft was drilled to hold an antler foreshaft. Before you do this, first wrap the front of the main shaft with wet sinew to help protect the wood from splitting. Then drill out the tip of your main shaft several inches to fit the antler foreshaft. Now that the main part of the arrow is complete, we can begin to work on the antler foreshaft and copper point. Up in the Arctic, the Inuit people use caribou antler to make their arrow foreshafts. For this arrow, I will use deer antler. One thing to consider when working with antler is that it has a hard outer core and a soft porous center which can be brittle to work with. Shape the antler foreshaft to fit securely into the main wooden shaft. Then cut a groove in the tip of the antler foreshaft to fit the copper point. The Inuit people use pure native copper found in nature to make their points. For this point, I'm going to use a sheet of copper scrap metal. I formed the basic shape of the copper point using a hacksaw. I then further worked the copper into an arrowhead using a grinder. The edges of the arrowhead can be worked into sharp blades using a file. We are now ready to secure our copper arrowhead. This was done by drilling a hole through the antler foreshaft and point and then installing a copper rivet which held everything together. You now have a style of arrow that was used with the cable back bows by the Inuit people in the Arctic region of northern Canada.